Hey guys, it's Shipmo Master Boy, and this is my review of the Nintendo 3DS. So um, now we're gonna have a quick look at the 3DS in general. You have the two front-facing cameras. Uh, I'm just gonna add the light sensor, of course. Uh, you also have the audio jack, wireless 3D depth slider, uh, L and R buttons, um, charging, game slot, stylus. The bottoms right there. And on the left side, you have the SD card slot, where you have a 2GB SD card with it, and the volume slider. And that's it in general. So, um, this is the uh, interior, and um, just have a look at how it is. Sorry, I don't have like some automated panning things for you to actually for it to rotate. So, uh, you have basically what you see is. Um, you have the analog, 360 analog stick, touch screens, uh, close the DS, that's how it is. Okay, right here we have um, the 3DS, of the 3D screen and the touch screen. This is the, uh, once you put it up, you can actually see me uh, using the 3D depth slider and put it up and down and you can actually see the uh, difference. Uh, my camera's not 3D so obviously it didn't capture that. Uh, it's just running through so some apps I have. And comparing how it looks with the and not. So um, this is the uh, bottom screen and uh, you can just have a look at all the icons. Um, uh, it's really easy to scroll, it looks like an Apple product the way you actually hit scrolls and uh, I think I'm gonna boot up Netflix right here which is an app you can get so you can also stream Netflix on it. So right now I'm actually at the settings table and um, you can see the bot buttons, the buttons at the bottom, the select home and start button. And uh, these buttons are actually work, they're tactile buttons and you can press them. You hit the home button, you can't, well when you hit the home button in any app you can actually quit it. And that's how it works. At the corner of the device you have the A button, the Y and X which is the uh, basic buttons. So right here we have the power button and um, when you click it you can actually turn your system off which is kind of obvious. And the light under it is the LED button. And you can do it off and power off, and you can power it off. So that's how it works. Next, we have the um, arrow keys up, down, left, right. Uh, it's pretty simple. Old DS had this. So the new addition to the 3DS is a 360 degree um, analog stick. It's awesome. Now, um, this is just a quick demonstration as to how the analog stick works. It's on the DS game Pokemon Black. Most of you know this game. And um, it even works on DS Lite games. Uh, unfortunately, I, don't, I didn't have any 3DS games at the time, so I couldn't demonstrate. Next, we have the two speakers, uh, the left and the right. And this is um, you can put stereo, mono, or even surround. And these are awesome speakers. They sound really good. At the top of the system, you can actually see the front-facing camera, and that's how you can take uh, pics. This does not take 3D pictures, however, and it's less than a megapixel, so not that great of a camera, but good. So um, as I'm trying to focus in on this camera, uh, on the DS, uh, you can actually see the two uh, cameras, 3D cameras at the front of the DS. They're both, I think, uh, 0.9 megapixels, not that great, and you can see the light sensor on the left side. Now I'm going to be exploring the actual camera app and you can actually switch it on to 3D pictures or off and you can actually see the cube at the top right hand corner change. And I can also tap in for the inner camera and you can actually see my face and uh, my camera. The back of the system you can uh, see the stylus and uh, this is a cool stylus because it's uh, metal and it's collapsible. So you can extend it as to how big your hand is. Even small kids can hold it like a pencil. And that's really cool and feels awesome, I guess. 3DS actually comes with an inbuilt uh, pedometer and you can actually gain coins which you can use in your Wii Plaza. Those are the 13 points and yeah. So I'll actually demonstrate it by just shaking it. So putting it into sleep and shaking it. You can actually see the number would have changed by a bit. But it's an accurate one so uh, you can't cheat that much. So right now, actually, uh, we can see the Nintendo 3DS um, operating system, and I'm just going through all the apps. So 3DS Sound, where you can put voice recordings and music, 3DS Depart, Wii Maker, or something. so like Wii, where you can make your virtual character, Street Plaza, where you can get people off street, um, street pass, and you can actually register them. 
things like that. You can also play adventures, AR uh, games, which is the augmented reality, and you can bring cards, you can bring things to life in your uh, environment. Now you have face waders, you can actually take a picture of your face and turn it into something like that, and you can play a game, basically. Activity log shows you what, are, what all you've been doing on your uh, 3DS system. Download play, where you can play with other 3DS systems um, by letting them download games. System settings, change your settings for your system. eShop, where you can buy stuff, uh, add points. Uh, these are just three apps I downloaded. Net so um, right here now I'm going to show you the uh, 3DS uh, browser and you can get this by updating your system, uh, 3DS system at system settings. You can google stuff or you can type into the URL and search for any website you want. It does not play Flash. So um, right now the next thing we have here is I think the notifications. It actually um, gives you notifications from all your apps and um, even games. Next we have, I think, the uh, chat, I believe, no, friend list, you can actually add friends uh, with their friends code, that's my brother's little V character there, you can add your friends, I don't have any friends yet. Next I believe we have um, the uh, game notes, yeah, game notes, and you can actually, uh, it's basically like a drawing thing, I was just like doodling around and things like that. Uh, you can create new notes. So it's just me scribbling around there. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically what it does. Um, next, we have um, a special feature. This is actually you can um, change the way your icons look by making them bigger or smaller, as you can see. That's as small as it gets. Next, uh, we have brightness setting. And you can change the brightness to in plot for five levels and put power saving mode. It actually helps save battery by about 10% more. That's still a lot. No. Now, um, overall, the system is pretty sleek. And you, this is the, I'm just trying to show you the gyroscope feature. I don't have a game on, so I can show you the feature, but there's our actual gyroscope. Accessories that come with this is the uh, charging cradle. And uh, the charging cradle, you can actually be uh, there's a wire at the back you can attach, or you can attach it directly to the 3DS. There's actually a hatch at the back where which gives you access to the uh, fingers. So, right here, I think I'm just showing you how to actually directly plug it in, and uh, you can actually charge it that way too. So, um, I'm just gonna show you how to well showing you how it looks on a cradle like this. And uh, once it goes on the cradle you see the orange charging light. It looks much cooler than wire sticking out your DS. Now this is how I can show you the access at the back and uh, I'm just gonna open my hatch move the DS light game. I think it was Pokemon Diamond, yeah Pokemon Diamond. Put it back so it's really easy for you to use in case it's uh, low on battery. Just gonna Classifies my stylus and put it back in there. And close it. Um, overall, the 3DS looks amazing. It's an awesome system. Billable for, I believe, um, it used to be 249, now 169. A thumbs up for me. Uh, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. See